Hey designers and welcome back to Design School. We've been doing a lot of custom CSS features and tutorials that basically change the way your website looks or we are using custom CSS HTML to build our own widgets that basically replace the third party add-ons that cost a lot. But there's one catch here. They require you to have element of provision. Well, I'm pleased to tell you that's not the case. You can achieve pretty much everything on this website except design your website playlist with the free version of Elementor and you can basically use the same code with some minor modifications. I'm going to show you in a bit. So the other playlists such as build your own widgets or elements and customize your website can be achieved using the free version of Elementor. This is really helpful and powerful because not everyone has the pro version and using the free version basically anyone can do it. So let's get right into the video and let me show you what I mean. If you're confused what I'm doing and what I'm trying to tell you, don't worry, you'll understand it clearly in the future videos that I'm going to upload. But for now, let me show you what I mean with an example. So here's a popular one that I uploaded on my channel called CSS animations and it allows you to animate your elements simply by pasting this code into custom CSS. Well, this custom CSS is available only to the pro users. So I just pasted this code into this column and you can see the animation there to this column. Let me maybe animate this section. Maybe that will be or maybe this column. Let me try to paste that code into this column. Using Elementor Pro, you can simply paste the code like that. And you can see how the box shadow animates over here. Just see the box shadow animating, increasing in size and reducing and finally it turns back to blue color. It's a very subtle animation and you can clearly see this around this and you can apply this code to any element. But if you want to work, make it work with the free version of Elementor, you need to make few changes. First, you need to have HTML widget. So it's available for free. So if you have the free version, just type HTML, drag and drop HTML widget anywhere. So I can just drag and drop that widget over here. And unless and until you're adding actual HTML over here, you can put every code. So what is the difference between HTML and code? You don't have to understand it. But whenever you say something called script or style, that means it's not HTML. That's all you need to know. So this animation is purely based on code or to be precise, it's based on CSS. So the entire code that's applicable to this animation can be simply pasted as CSS. So the first thing that you need to do is to give this class a name. So you clicked on this and using the custom CSS, when you type selector, it automatically applies this CSS to the element that you click. So if I click this section, and paste the same code, it will apply basically that CSS to this section, which is what I did to this column. So the first thing that you need to do is to give any element. It can be a section, column, or a widget, a unique name. So it's under the CSS classes and it's available for free version. So type any unique name. I'm just going to say anim example, or I'll just say animation example one. I'll just call this class any English, I mean, type anything over here. I'm just naming it animation example one, you can type anything. Click on that particular section, column or widget and give it a unique name. And as you don't have the custom CSS access, you can copy the code from the description. Click on the HTML widget that you dragged. But before pasting the code, you need to type style. What exactly is style? Well, style is nothing but telling the website that this particular thing is CSS. So whatever code is in here, please take this code and apply it to the respective element. In this case, we are giving this class a name and trying to apply some animation to it. So let's paste the code. So the only change that you need to make is to add a dot before the class name. When you paste into this HTML widget, so 
let me cut the entire code and paste it so that you can see this column animating. You can see the box shadow over there. It changes its width gradually and the animation plays twice and finally returns to its original property where the original box shadow is blue. You can see that. So that's how you apply custom CSS to basically any widget or any column or section using the free version of Elementor. All you need to do is to take the code, give that particular thing a class name using advanced and drag an HTML widget into it, add style tag and add a dot before the class name. So dot animation example dot one, sorry, dot animation example one and the code remains the same. Similarly, you can apply the background gradients that I taught you in the background gradient tutorial. So let me call it back grad. So I'll click on the same HTML widget. I'll clear the previous code which added animation and I'll just paste the code for gradients into this and I'll replace selector with dot backgrad and then whichever class you call backgrad will have this background gradient feature. So you can basically paste any gradient code. It's available under custom your web customize your website playlist. Go check that out and also build your own widgets playlist. So this is how you put custom CSS which is essentially a pro feature on any widget without using the pro version itself. So you can do any custom CSS thing using the free version itself. And the only difference here is convenience. So you can simply click on that particular thing and apply using selector. And if you don't have this, there are two extra steps that you need to follow, which is to name that particular section class or widget using a unique name under advanced, give it a name and then add a HTML widget that will basically have the code and of course replace selector with that particular unique name you gave that widget. So it will apply all the properties, animations or whatever code that you add there into this. Don't worry, I'll make it even clearer in the future videos. Best of all, you can also build your own widgets using the free version of Elementor. So it will only have an additional style tag with all the CSS properties copied in here. And remember, when you add CSS to the same element which has class names such as this one, uh, in the case of tooltips or dual color headings, you can simply paste the code without changing anything. All you need to add is a style tag like this one. Open style tag and close a style tag like this and then paste the code and you can basically create your own widget and style them using the free version of Elementor. So this is how you do it and I'll show more examples in the coming future. Stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you in the next video. And that's it for now and hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.